What's up everyone? Almost forgot to take the video today. I um busy trimming the last harvest. It's, it's been uh almost two weeks. I think I'm on day day twelve of my dry. And uh they're still quite sticky. I really kept good control over the um the drying environment this time um, ranging between 55 and 60 degrees for most of the time and uh, between like 56 and 62 percent humidity so they're drying nice and slowly but I kind of want to just get going on the trim and get that out of the way with the holidays coming up I got stuff going on a little bit later in the week and I uh, kind of want to be be done with that and get that out of the way um, and as you can see I'm, I'm doing a little cleaning up on this plant here um, yeah so last video I showed you guys some other plants that I'm vegging but I've got this giant uh, this is a rainbow chip number two you guys have seen this in some previous runs and uh, I had her ready to go I was actually trying to get her a little bit bigger because uh, once again she's gonna be nice and dense she's gonna be denser than the the hyperfuel was but it doesn't quite fill out my canopy all the way but that's all right we'll get it going and I don't know if I've mentioned it, but uh, Spider Farmer is going to be sending me uh, another one of their lights in, I think, towards the end of this month. So I will, I'm thinking about just hanging it up right, right here for kind of basically where I'm standing. Um, and having it right side by side with this and then in the meantime I will I will figure out the sex of those other plants and hopefully get the males big enough to uh, fill the space out or get did I say males get the females big enough to fill the space out um, and get those in here and join uh, join this plant here so what I'm what I'm doing here now I was doing this and uh, I realized I should record this video here but so I'm, I'm going through and I'm taking off stuff that's useless like this branch that's coming off right here it's not going to help me out. It's going to get shaded. It's going to suck energy away from the tops. So I want to remove it. And then I'm I'm coming through. Where am I at? And I'm pinching all of the uh, the nodes below my top. So I try to get in here and be delicate. snap those nodes out and then that leaves um, just this top bud site that's going to have en have energy going to it it's getting all the light and it's going to produce me uh, some a nice top coal as that stretches up I'm not sure exactly if I explained that properly. I didn't uh, didn't get my thoughts straight before I said that, but yeah, I'm basically I'm trying to direct energy to the top of the canopy by removing stuff below that's going to suck energy out of the plant 
but not really get a, a whole lot of light so it's not going to produce the kind of quality buds or the size buds that I want. That's generally where you're more likely to get uh, your popcorn and your larf. And I really don't, I generally don't get any larf in my grows. Most of my lowers tend to still be pretty rock solid. But I do sometimes, if I don't, if I don't do this, I get some smaller lower buds. And if the plant, um, if the plant's experiencing any, any deficiencies throughout my run, and sometimes my bud size is not uh, not as big, and I end up with uh, some smaller popcorn sized buds. Even doing this, and that did happen on the last run. If you guys were watching, um, we did a big plant from start to finish, and. The quality is fantastic, but I do have some, some popcorn in there, and there's a lot of nice golf ball size buds, some perfect size buds. Nothing too big. I was Overall, I'm really happy with it, and the quality is phenomenal. It's, it's really good. But if you watch that run, we ran into some deficiencies, and I started um, putting in compost tea. Uh, previously on this channel for the past like almost two years, I want to say, I've just been doing living organics with water only um, and I've been trying a number of different pot sizes and different plant combinations in here and lately I'm trying the uh, the one plant system in the last run I did in a 15 gallon pot and we noticed on like week five I was hitting deficiencies so that's when I started uh, supplementing the compost tea so this run we're in a 30 gallon pot and it's a pretty pretty big thick stem and you can see that the the shoots that are coming off it are pretty pretty big and thick uh, snap this right here if you guys follow my Instagram I posted about this at one point uh, I completely snapped this branch like it was hanging on by a thread and I put some, some electric tape on it and I put a support like brace on it to hold it in place and now this thing is probably the, the strongest branch on the plant I topped it a, a bunch and then I kind of got lazy and, uh, and and let it go a little bit too wild on me so I'm getting in here and I'm cleaning it up um, I didn't even mention it at the beginning of the video but this is day one of flower uh, and she's looking super healthy super happy happy to be in here and as a matter of fact remind myself that I I moved her in here yesterday and I put down the trellis um, recorded a little transition video reel for Instagram that people seem to be really digging so if you haven't seen that go check that out um, but yeah I'm on I, I put the light at 50% because um, and it's and it's raised way up so I need to I need to lower the light and increase the intensity a little bit because this I think she can handle a little bit a lot a lot more light than she's getting right now with this thing at 50% and, and way above it it's just where I had it last run um, and that, that plant gets pretty tall this plant does not get quite as tall as the hyperfield so I don't think I'll get quite as much of a stretch I do think I'm gonna put down a second and third trellis layer and I might um, I might put them a little bit lower than I did for the uh, for the hyperfuel. So, anyways, that's about all I, I have for you. I think uh, I think for this run we're gonna we're gonna go with compost tea just just cause like why why not why not throw it in there um, if unless I see some toxicities, uh, but. 
as long as she seems like she's happy and healthy and thriving, I think I'm gonna, like every week and a half or two weeks, brew up a compost tea and, and feed it to her and then top dress with the uh, remnants of that, that tea brew. So that's the plan for this run. She normally takes about nine, 10 weeks to finish out. So I have about nine, nine or 10 videos with this lady here and hopefully within a couple weeks we'll get that other light up and uh, get a get a double run going for the for the first time on this channel so like and subscribe if you're new and uh, i'll see you guys next week have a good one